Omori? Yes. Wills? Yes. Bryce? Yes. Business for the board. Uh, we have bank authorization used that you have to make me go like that. No, it's it's uh, overdue and you know, with the changing of officers felt it was appropriate to uh, reauthorize signers and users on the bank accounts. We have a motion to uh, approve. So moved. Support. You are aware of this, right? All right. What's that? Being, being done. Yes. Okay. You guys on this? No. Yeah. 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 I think we can just do a general. general. All, All right. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. And as that authorization um, references the purchasing uh, policy, and we just updated it in the consent agenda, here is the updated copy of the purchasing policy. Thank you, sir. Welcome. I have Farmers Market Manager contract. Had sent it out and did receive a little bit of feedback. Um, made some, made those adjustments. Had a chance to sit with Aaron and talk to Aaron. Uh, about it and um, talked through a couple concerns that he had. This is an updated uh, from what was originally sent to you. And to touch on the updates, one of the things, <clears throat> you know, this, this contract is, um, can be used for a variety of different contractors. Uh, and so, <clears throat> farmer's market man manager is a little bit more of a specialty. We're not contracting for waste removal or um, park maintenance or something to that extent. So this is a little different. And so um, well, first change was in section three. And Aaron and I talked about the fact that uh, we will be relying on volunteers uh, to do some of the work in the contract. Uh, did not necessarily take that into consideration. So we added that that piece. Uh, the other is I've added to the compensation section. Uh, I've added, uh, that's section four, uh, additional reimbursement for uh, state and federal taxes paid. The, as Aaron and I went through it, seemed a little bit burdensome. You know, a $5,000 contracted employee having to spend close to $900 on state and federal taxes. So we've added that as a reimbursement. So it needs to be proof shown uh, that the taxes were paid and, and there should be some reimbursement for that. Another item. Uh, which I would be looking into is with uh, our liability insurance. Um, Aaron had questioned whether or not um, he would be included in that. And so as we uh, begin to get a rider to our liability insurance policy or a standalone, depending on what the broker uh, uh, is recommending, uh, we will be pursuing that as well. And. Um, as I put this on the agenda, I put contract. This really is an opportunity for the board to meet Aaron, uh, ask him questions if you have questions. Uh, and it is a recommendation of the 
Farmers Market Committee uh, that we execute the contract with Aaron to be our market manager for this year. Can I ask a question? On the compensation, it's the $5,000. I don't know how the taxes work into that. Um, the state and federal uh, income tax, does he get a 1099 at the end of this? And then we're reimbursing for the tax portion of that that he would be assessed? Um, it'll be, as the compensation says, the reimbursements will be based on the annual market budget. So we will account for that in the budget. Um, I don't have a specific number at the moment. I just looked up contract, uh, self-employed contract employee, Social Security and Medicare tax on $5,000 is $706. So um, throw in state tax in there. Um, I'll get I'll get down to a number that'll be in the farmers market budget. So that's that's where I will account for that. Somewhere between that seven hundred and a thousand dollars. Any other questions? Do you have anything you wanna say? So I was saying that this is exciting for me, and I hope everybody else is as excited about the farmers market. Yeah. So. We have a motion to uh, approve this contract. So move. Okay. Have a second. No second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he was at our last meeting um, that we had at Farmers Market last week. A lot of good input, a lot of things started um, with volunteers with Aaron. I think he'd be real happy with it. Next item is the uh, local training opportunities. I had forwarded to you uh, a new program through Main Street out of Oakland County where they are providing local training and workshops uh, for Main Street uh, organizations. Uh, and this was just an opportunity for us to, if there was something that you saw that you felt was appropriate or important for us to facilitate during 2019, I want to make sure we get registered for that. Uh, I will be submitting uh, our request by March 1st. That's the deadline to submit requests for these trainings. Um, they do have a, and I, I do have four copies of the booklet. Well, it was better not to. Be, dozen copies, but they have the fundamentals of Main Street, which we will be utilizing for our joint meeting with the uh, Village Council and the Planning Commission for April 10th. And I was told uh, by the program coordinator that we don't necessarily have to use that as one of our two trainings for the year. They're happy to do that uh, in that capacity. Because of the nature of the meeting that we wish to have yeah. versus an actual training session. Right. Gotcha. Will somebody oh, yeah. be there this evening to invite them? To that? What's that? I don't know. What was the question? Well, <laughs> I, was, I was looking for the description to mention it this evening. I thought somebody's going to be there that what, what did you ask? Somebody's yeah, going to be at the council meeting tonight to mention the joint meeting, to oh. invite them in the description.
because I'm saying yes to Paul Lindsay. No, I didn't. What would the time? Uh, probably well, citizens' comments. Right. Yeah. right? Um, we We're could not do it like on the board. We could or do it better either. during the DDA update, oh, under okay. the agenda, okay. uh, trustee updates yeah, at can, the beginning. I, think. I should be able to do that. I will do that. Yeah, you can be invited up to all the time. I can ask you to come up and give us a quick DDA okay. update. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I know I didn't say, I, as I glanced through, I didn't save it. The little yeah. description. I wasn't in the list at home. Probably under organization, I would think. But we all have the description. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a check mark next to it. Do you see it? Yeah. Oh. Right here. Yeah. yeah. Third box down. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that again if, uh, in the next few days if you identify something in there that you think would be valuable for um, the board, uh, a committee, um, a gathering of business owners, anything like that. And they come to us to do this, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, all effort is made for it to be cost neutral to us. I know they have one of the options is Zing Train, Zingerman's training workshops. Those have a higher price point to them, and I do, they will be asking for some financial participation by the organization. I imagine there's probably materials and stuff that come along with that training as a mm -hmm. person who developed a theory or model or whatever. So, yeah, they usually. Usually, costs associated with that. Awesome. Additional items? Um, just to point out the other two items in your packet. Uh, the and Pat George and Melanie Nybelt are working on an initiative for a single waste hauler. This has not gone, this will go to the Village Council tonight uh, for their approval to communicate out. So it does not yet have that. Uh, but Pat would, met with Pat last week and he was asking for the DDA to endorse uh, this initiative. So this is uh, an opportunity for the DDA board to review and uh, discuss and advise. I think it's premature, quite frankly, for the DDA board to to uh, weigh in on this issue. I think what's important that the we weigh in in favor of the study of the issue, but certainly not the final analysis and the final disposition. Well, and I think too, um, we worked on this. I worked on this personally during my time on the board. Uh, on the council, I mean, and we nixed the idea of a single hauler because it would put responsibility back to the to the village, and the village didn't have certainly at the time. I can't speak to now, but didn't have the want or the the wherewithal to be responsible if someone's garbage is missed, if someone you know whatever the case may be doesn't comply. That responsibility falls back on the village to go then and pick up their garbage. So our DPW people become garbage pickup people. And which we did not want. And therefore we turned to looking at a single day rather than a single hauler. Okay. And um, I mean that's that's my view and input on that. And I, I think that another concern that I have <coughs> is that uh, I'm not sure and again this is this is why I think we need to dialogue on this, but, but um, we have multiple jurisdictions, and any time we have multiple jurisdictions, we have issues between the, multi between the jurisdictions. Uh, we have commercial haulers, we have residential haulers. I'm not sure that this, I haven't had a chance to look at it, but I'm not sure that it addresses commercial haulers. This is residential. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
businesses would still choose their own. In their own time of the day, and I mean, you know, so um, to to come to a conclusion that this is going to be a win-win, uh, especially with respect to um, wear and tear on our roads, it's not going to be. I don't see it's going to be entirely a, a win in that respect, because number one, we cannot control uh, the township pickup coming down Hummer Lake Road into town. They're still going to be using our roads. They're still going to be going down Oakwood Road. They're still going to go on Granger Road. They're still going to be going on M15. So, you know, the wear and tear on the roads might be a little bit, and the school district, the same thing. You know, they're going to be uh, using our, our roads on Varsity Drive and, and so on. Uh, so that particular logic, um, it's got some merit, but it's certainly not going to be an end all. Uh, those are the issues that I see as being um, of concern. And we, so we're, we weren't asking for an endorsement today, obviously, because there's a chance that this uh, is modified or uh, you know, version two or whatever. Uh, and based on the discussion, I'll ask this question. Uh, is the DDA board uh, willing to consider whatever final version comes from the council? Or do we not want to be? Why would they want our approval? I was just going to say, what does it have to do with the DDA, especially if there's no commercial pickup considered? Because our businesses are all, I mean, our focus is our, our DDA businesses, well, right? And so I, I, all I can say is based on what's at the bottom there, they're, they're looking for consensus. They're looking for, um, you know, a unified yeah. sure. municipality. I just, I think I worry I'm, about the, the <laughs> residents wondering about our endorsement of something that really doesn't even fall under our jurisdiction. I think when so I talk to... you say no then? hesitant to say no, but I'm also hesitant to say yes. Okay. Well, I would say yes to the study of it. That's what I was going to say. I, I've I always talked been to a Pat, proponent. I asked, and that's what it was. He's talking about specifically in this area endorsing the research. And I said it doesn't say that, and that was a concern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was a concern research for planning only. committee. Research it only. was a concern yeah. for DDA, and I yeah. believe it will be a concern tonight for Village Council because it does not say to research the information. It says that we endorse when we don't know what the final will be yet. So this was a concern, I think, in general. For there are some very good points and very positive points uh, to this. Uh, I do have some administrative questions. Uh, you know, uh, and I at CRDPW, because we do have people that don't pay their taxes. Uh, we have people that move without telling anybody. We have a couple of vacant homes right now that uh, we've got junk sitting in front of them, a pickup or whatever. And so, you know, it's gone. the pickup's finally gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's finally got rid of the pickup. Yeah. But that took an act of Congress. <laughs> uh, so all we're doing is, is <laughs> we're, we're putting our name to the desire to have a study, right? So when you're saying the final, you're saying the final, the final document. That, I'm saying that, I think that was the idea, yeah. but that is not the impression. So. If that's the case, that would have to be designated. So if council says that the DDA approves it, you know, so on down the line, then they can say, okay, let's uh, let's do it. And, and I don't know. Uh, do you know that uh, the citizenry has to approve having an assessment of that nature? No, they don't. There's two methods by which you can do this. Number one, you can do a special assessment district, and under Michigan law for villages you would have to get a petition from 51 percent of the property owners not the citizens 51 percent of the property owners or the council has the ability under michigan law to simply enact an ordinance to um, acquire a trash collector and then build the resident or the property owners for the trash collection. So they do have that ability. And between what you've heard, uh, how was the 
non-compliance going to be addressed? Uh, very simply put, if you, uh, depending on how you do it, and different municipalities do it, but the common theme is that if you don't pay your trash bill, then it gets put on your property taxes. So it gets treated like an assessment. So, and the, the for lack of a better term, the beauty of that is that if you do have a rental unit, that that bill gets sent to the owner, not to the renter. So we've had a problem in the past where rental people have rented houses, they've told the renters to go get a trash hauler, and then when the renters move out, I'm stuck calling somebody to say, you know, and then they try to pass the ball back and forth, and we just tell them, hey, you're the owner. If DPW has to go pick up that trash, or if somebody has to go pick up the trash, we're going to put it on your property tax, much like you do if you're mowing their lawn or something. Now, is this something that's going to be, I know it's not anywhere near finalized, um, the fees that you're going to charge, are they set in stone? Does it change every year? Typically, you enter into like a, uh, a three-year con, what I've, and again, I've just begun researching this, and typically what you do is you enter into a uh, three-year contract with whoever you do your contract with. It's a, you know, in the village here, it would be, I would say, north of a $50,000 a year contract, probably closer to about a $70,000 contract. And... Um, it would be a sealed bid, and typically it's you do it for like three years, and there might be an escalator clause for. Because um, I know when I lived in Wyandotte, they they had that there was one one hauler that came in mm -hmm. and did everybody's, and the problem they ran into is that somebody will throw out a couch or they'll throw out a chair, and they're they're saying your container can only be so heavy. Mm -hmm. All right. So when they do the larger items, there's another fee added on to them, and how do you control that per household when you're doing that? When they're individual and they take care of it, and they're they're being billed by that waste hauler, then that waste hauler can bill. Typically, them. that's put in the specs of your bid to where you say you're allowed a certain large items once a month or something like that. Much like you would deal with recycling, you'd say. You know the recycling is going to be picked up every other week, and and do you provide a do you provide a uh, you know a 95 gallon container, or a 75 gallon container, and I think everybody so far that I've talked to has said or pointed you in a direction. Make sure you get your container included in the cost, both for recycling and and for trash pickup, and make sure you hammer down the. How many large items can you put out? And you know, and if you are doing something real extravagant with a lot of large items because someone's moving out or something, how do you handle those situations? You know, so. So the question before us is, is whether or not to endorse this. And stuff. No, 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 because we don't know that this is the final version of it. Okay. It was just for your awareness. Uh, it was presented to us last week. Uh, I don't make the endorsement for the DDA, right. you do. Right. Uh, and so it's important for you to be aware that the request is out there once we get to yeah. it, that point. Are they uh, then? That's good feedback. And yeah. It's got the thing on the back. So what he wants to do, what they want to do is <coughs> the United Council is they would send out some sort of modified version of this letter. Okay. And then in, in, in there, there would also be on the back, a self-addressed uh, postcard. postcard with the postage stamp on it that says, do you want this, yes or no? To the public? To the public. To the residents. To the residents. It goes to the homeowner, right. not to the house. Right. To the right. right. So then they would turn around and check <laughs> yes or no and send it back to the village. And, and then at, at that time, that's at that what time, they would, then would, they be would have a, a We would have well. a public session well, I think I'm a little confused because I think what you want this letter they want to send out. Pat wants to send time, out. The card will be with inside it. the envelope with the letter. Right. So, so there isn't a way to be able to after this is brought in to say 
No, no. What the request is is that the letter goes out similar to this with any changes discussed. This is included inside, and that's what the residents, the homeowners, would get. Right. I have a question um, down at the bottom. The DPW technically is not a separate entity, so why, why are they seeking their endorsement? It shouldn't be. It's not appropriate. I. I mean, other I than don't, I don't disagree with you that they're not a separate entity or anything like that. But if I mean, their opinion matters if they're going to be why? the ones that have to go out and pick up trash. Well, I don't know that we we necessarily give them a vote on what they do or don't. He, he directs them, our village manager directs yeah. them as to what they do and what they don't do. Sure. And it shouldn't be, uh, the community should not feel like the DPW is endorsing it as such. Was was part of the thinking, and I don't, I don't know this, so was part of the thinking behind that is that people are asking, is the DPW okay? Is this extra added? I and mean, if that becomes part of the Part of discussion. the discussion, then it's better to have that, it. That would right. be like more. I think more along the lines that you know, much like anybody else, Bob is not, Bob is concerned, and apparently um, he has talked to Bob. Yeah. And uh, their concern is right now you got multiple trash haulers, so you've got garbage strung throughout the village and the wind picks up late today right. and it's blown all over the village and you can't hold any trash hauler accountable yeah. to hey you've got trash all over the village and we're picking it up right you know and so now with a single trash hauler there you you would stand a better chance in Bob's mind or in, and again I can't speak for Bob but uh, you would spend a better chance of uh, holding somebody accountable for trash pickup and that kind of thing. You know, if, if they miss somebody, you know, it's a matter of calling a single individual and say, hey, send your guy back here. He missed yeah. Ball Street. He missed so and so. You know. However, he is an, he is an employee. Who is your employee? Right. So. Whether he whether he's concerned about it, if he's got a function of his job that he doesn't like, you're going to tell him he's going to do it anyway. That doesn't mean that he endorses it. Yeah. Nor should it publicly be stated that, in my opinion. Yeah, it's not a separate it's entity within point. the village. Right. I'm still, I'm still just. With that being the case, it sounds like this is more uh, involved parties as opposed to. I think endorse is a strong word. To, at this early stage, and I think that's what I'm you know, hearing. Those is the participating concern. in the planning yeah. and discussion or something. Because I'm still confused of why DPW is different than the <coughs> interesting like research is different. Than yeah, that. I'm just still confused of why DDA is even a consideration for something that is got quite literally nothing to do with us. This is well, basically, I, 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 I don't feel it's comfortable. I, yeah. I don't. I don't want to get into the weeds on it, but um, the DDA represents a specific area in this community, mm -hmm. specific geographic area. So anything like this does impact our district. I think if it involved commercial hauling. No, we have residents that live in our in our district. That's a fair so statement as well. I understand what you're saying. It's a little further removed than the planning yeah, commission right. and the village right. council, but right. but still, you know, we've been asked to consider this initiative, and so I, I like the the suggestion that yes, we're supportive of the research and and um, you know the development of a plan, and at that point we'll consider it. I guess would that be I, a decent summary of our. I would say that would be a good. good I guess I'd like to. Opinion. I'd like to see something considered for the <coughs> the commercial haulers as well. If this is the case, because if if the rest of the village is going to get benefits from having a single hauler, cause assuming that the benefits outweigh the opposite, it's going to be tough for commercial because be. you've got 
you got different types of plumbing. Certainly, I certainly. Mean, you, you've got restaurants that have um, but we can, oils and, and right. they're not just trash. Right, you know, well, we and, should and, certainly be able to offer them something if they wish to participate in this type of situation. You know, for those like, um, like Brenda or like, um, for the level local or it's the little things um, I, maybe Hamilton's is the same way I'm not sure um, who don't have that excess waste just your normal everyday waste but they still use you know a dumpster or something like that I mean they should they should be considered under uh, as part of part of the consideration for you know, reaping some benefits to a village-wide single hauler so we want to simply communicate to council that we encourage the research and uh, yeah, and and maybe a codicil or you know I, I'm not convinced that there's going to be less wear and tear in our roads. Number one, and I'm not convinced that our lower uh, the rates are going to be lower. So I think the wear and tear will be lower, but I don't think I don't I can, am concerned about the cost being lower because I know right now there's a huge difference between community disposal and waste management, just as a, for yeah. instance, you know, like $20 a quarter or something, or more, 30 But I've already got the lower one, so you're right. it's not going to so help me at it, all. Is it going to raise your fees then? I mean, that's a... What's your current rate? I don't know, but it's, it's community is the lowest one. 50, if you have recycled. We just, should, we, just <laughs> change, we just changed the first of the year, so it's... it's 50 without it's like peanuts. Put it this way, yeah. I, uh, all, the, all, the, all the estimates that I've got so far, mm -hmm. you would save you would save money because the cheapest, the most expensive one I've found so far is of roughly 170 dollars a year, which breaks down to like 42 dollars a quarter. So well, the good rich one is comparable, comparable in size, comparable. In and that's what, 175? 160. Yeah. Okay. And that's with, and that's with recycling and with more. Yeah, we don't need to do it again. All right. Thanks for bringing that to us. Final item that is in your packet is an invitation from Brandon Groveland Youth Assistance. Uh, I did send it out by email, but just wanted to make sure you had it for their annual breakfast, which will be Thursday, March 7th, uh, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. at the Brandon Township Public Library. Tiny I forgot time. to put that on our calendar here. Uh, is there anybody else on the board who will, is planning on attending the breakfast? You are. Well, I am. I always do. You always do, right? Okay. Um, I just wonder, maybe, we've talked a lot, a lot, a lot about not only collaboration, but also um, keeping lines of communication open and working together with especially the other um, municipalities as well as community groups, and I think that this would be a good opportunity for DEA to be a presence at an event that we're in to invited to, so I just want to make sure we have representation. I'm on that board. I know you are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant as, as us making the effort to be there Absolutely. as we were in invited to be there. I want to make sure it's that point of buying someone in. is able to attend um, because unfortunately I will not. 8.30 is drop off time. <laughs> so is somebody going to be uh, responding? RSVPs are not required but would be helpful. So. That would be individual. Unless you would like me to handle that. Whatever. I already did that. Yeah, I already. You've already, already got our RSVP. Okay, I'll respond. What's in that email? I think it came through email for, mm -hmm. for me. So. That's a, so at least three. Yeah. Okay. Then I won't make alternate. You're good. Uh, which I can always do, but I just got to know how to tell do you want to Is any additional? Yes. Can we take it? Oh, unless I've got it. Any questions or? No, we need to. Items to address. So, calendar. 
his uh, is there. Matt, Matt mentioned that the, the assistance is in addition to that, right? Yes. Did the youth awards get put on the calendar for the April 20? Did the youth assistance awards get put on the calendar for the April? That's the evening event. Oh, yeah, um, April 20, I, whatever. I can. I mean, I don't know if I do. I have to check it because I'll probably be there. Was it April 20? 20, 20, whatever that Thursday no. night is. 26, 27? The 18th is uh, Thursday. Next one. Is it a vote or is it a call? 20, is it April. April. The 25th. I, yes. 25th? The Thursday yes. night. So, uh, do we have a... Uh, Bill, you received the invitation. <laughs> okay. You didn't get it. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just making sure. We all set up questions. Mm -hmm. okay. We have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Support. Support. Aye. All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed. We're adjourned. Thank you. Good job, Matt. <laughs>